Hey, how's it going everyone? So today's gonna be an extremely busy day. I have 38 orders to pull and pack and ship out today. So I have a long day ahead of me without a doubt. If you're new to this channel, my name is Josh. I am a full-time reseller. I've been reselling for about a year and a half now. I've been doing this full-time for only two months. So this whole full-time reselling thing is completely new to me, but I'm trying to make it work. And you know, I'm not trying to become a millionaire overnight. Maybe one day I'll get there, but I'm just trying to grow little by little and right now I'm just trying to pay the bills be happy be comfortable and reselling has allowed me to do that um, it's been providing the income I need to at a minimum <laughs> you know have a roof over my head eat three meals a day and have a few comforts so I'm extremely blessed to have reselling right now it's something that I'm extremely passionate about as well so it really kind of works out for me And I don't do these what's sold videos to brag or anything because trust me, there are a lot of sellers both part-time and full-time that are doing a lot more volume than I am, but I am proud of these sales. Um, doing this full-time now for two months, I've been seeing slow progression week by week. So it is something that I am proud of and excited to share. At the same time, these what's sold videos are really what kickstarted my reselling business. When I was first getting into reselling, I would binge watch these types of videos and just take notes and mental notes of what to source, what not to source. And that really helped me grow my business when I first started and really built like a solid foundation of knowledge. So hopefully I'm able to give back a little bit. With that being said, if you're new here, make sure to subscribe for more content like this. If you're already subscribed, I appreciate the support. Like always, make sure to like, comment. Before we get into the weekend sales, I did want to include two honorable mentions from last week. So they're purchased by viewers and fellow YouTubers, both really awesome some dudes so make sure to go check their channels out this first sale was a family feud second edition interactive dvd party game for the tv um this was purchased by matt over at bk vending and flipping so i appreciate the business and everyone go check him out and this next sale was Zara for men. This is just men's cologne. This sold for $22.79 free shipping. This was purchased by Roy over at RK Treasure Center. Um, I really appreciate the kind message and the support that you've shown for the channel. Everyone go ahead and make sure to check out his channel as well. Here we have an Untuck It men's dress shirt. This is a really good brand to look for if you're looking through the men's button down aisle. But I picked this up at a thrift store for $9.99 and it's sold for $34.99, free shipping. This sale is another really good men's clothing sale. I picked this up at a thrift store. This is a Woolrich. It was a heavier, thicker button-down shirt. I picked this up for $7.99 and it's sold for $38.24 and the buyer paid for shipping. This next sale is a pair of men's Adidas Crazy One shoes. This was retail arbitrage on clearance for $29 and they sold for $76.49 and the buyer paid for shipping. This next sale is Perfume Olympia Intense by Paco Rabanne. I have about $6 invested into this bottle here and it sold for $42.32 free shipping. This next sale is a mesh trucker hat. This is a local construction company, I'm assuming, Case Power and Equipment from Flushing, New York. It has that little cool like construction vehicle on it. It's actually going to Flushing, New York, so I think it's going to a good new home. But this was part of a bundle deal. I picked up an entire bin of these trucker hats locally from my guy, and this one sold for $8.49, and the buyer paid for shipping. The buyer paid $4.99 for shipping. This next sale was a viewer sale from Zubikins and I've definitely seen that name before over on Lonnie Garage Flips channel and Justin over at Arve Flips so I appreciate you coming over and just browsing my store and supporting me this way. Um, left a really kind message to go along with the purchase so it really does mean a lot but bought this L.O. Bean men's dress shirt. I bought this at a thrift store 50% off day for $1.99 and sold it for $19.37. This sale here was a really good one. This is a brand new sealed box PC game, Indie Car Racing, that I got from my guy locally. This sold for $38.24 and the buyer paid for shipping. It's actually going to Italy via the simple export rate that you can get through Pirate Ship. 
This next sale was over on Poshmark. Nothing too crazy. This is a pair of Nautica men's pajama pants. This was my dad, so $0 invested into this and it sold for $8. This next sale was over on Poshmark as well. This is a pair of women's Birkenstock sandals. I bought these at a garage sale for $16 and they sold for $47. This next sale is Pokemon Y for the Nintendo 3DS. This was part of a Facebook Marketplace bundle deal that I found. This here sold for $23.79, free shipping. This next sale was actually purchased by my boy Harry Tornado. This was my first hashtag SARS sale. If you don't know what hashtag SARS is, make sure to go check out my previous video. But this is Flash by Jimmy Choo and Otter Perfume, a 1.3 ounce bottle and this sold for $25.32. This next item is a Rain Spooner Aloha Hawaiian short sleeve button down shirt. This was a retail arbitrage find. I paid $20, it was on clearance and it sold for $50.99. And this is actually a size small. So even if it's a bad size, if it's a good style and a good brand, I'd still recommend picking it up because this here sold for $50.99. This next sale is this book of 44 loose PlayStation 2 games. Some of them were in really rough condition so I listed them as is and I ended up taking an offer for $30 and the buyer paid for shipping on top. This item here was another viewer and fellow YouTuber sale. This was purchased by Brandon over at Resell King. He's actually in the Air Force so we've talked a little bit on Instagram about you know reselling in the military but he purchased this for $8.60 plus shipping. And Brandon over at Resell King actually just uploaded a new video so if you're curious how reselling and active duty military go hand in hand definitely go ahead and check his channel out. This next item was a thrift store find. I paid $9.99 cents these are a pair of new balance 769 suede leather hiking shoes these sold for $29.74 and the buyer paid for shipping on top this next item is this lego marvel superheroes avengers playset this was actually part of my sarth video but i don't think this was a viewer sale at least i'm not aware of it um, but this here sold for $63.74 and the buyer paid for shipping on top Oh, and this Lego set was part of my most recent haul I got from my guy locally. This next sale was a really cool one. This was also part of the most recent haul I got from my guy locally. He included an entire storage tote of hats and this was in there. I think what made this one unique was that the mesh was in the front instead of how it's typically in the back. So I think that's what added value to this Von Dutch mesh hat but it sold pretty quickly in like two days for $39.99 and the buyer paid for shipping. This next sale is a video game for the Nintendo GameCube Resident Evil Zero. I picked up a bunch of these at a garage sale for a dollar a piece. This one here sold for $12.74 free shipping. These next two sales were actually purchased from a viewer, Hannah, so I really do appreciate the business. The fact that some of you are browsing my store just to show my reselling business and my YouTube channel like support, it really does mean a lot. So this first listing that Hannah purchased was this lot of two Toys R Us exclusive Funko Pops. This one is Bear and Cyborg. She paid $12.74 plus shipping. And the second item she bought was this lot of two Womanity sample size perfume. She paid $25.49 for that. So once again, thank you so much, Hannah. This next sale was another really good one. This tennis racket, this Babolat Pure Aero tennis racket sold for $95.99. Um, I pulled out these two items. I picked up all three items at a garage sale for $75. So this item, this sale here pushes me into the profits. So once this Babolat racket and this here, this carrying case sell, these two items are going to be pure profit. But with this one sale here, I think it was definitely worth paying up for these three items. This item here was part of a Nintendo bundle purchase. This is a Mad Cat's Power Dock for the Nintendo Game Boy Advance SP. It's just like a little charging dock but this sold for $12.74 and the buyer paid for shipping. These next two sales we have three Lego sets going out. This one here is going out to a buyer for $4.14 plus shipping and these two are going out. One buyer purchased both of them and paid $8.28 plus shipping. This next sale is a stack of 50 blank verbatim DVDs. I picked up a few of these at an estate sale for a dollar a piece. So this one here sold for $12.74 plus shipping. This next item is a men's dress shirt. This is a Brooks Brothers non-iron region button down shirt. 
I picked this up at a thrift store for $7.99 and it sold for $29.74 free shipping and it's going out first class. This next sale was purchased by a viewer Anthony so I really appreciate the businessman. This was a Star Wars Darth Vader voice changer. He paid $15.29 and this was through my hashtag Sarth video so I really appreciate the support and I hope whoever you end up gifting this to likes it very much. This next sale is a pair of used Under Armour running shoes. This was my dad so I have $0 invested into this and they sold for $14.50 and the buyer paid for shipping. This next item here is a Polaroid One Step camera. These used to be guaranteed instant sellers. There was a company called Retrospect that would buy them up immediately. But since then, they have stopped purchasing these cameras. So I've been sitting on this for a long time. And it finally sold for $27 or $24.79 free shipping. So honestly, I'm just glad to have moved this camera and sold it. This next sale is Perfume. David Yerman Exotic Essence is the scent. This was part of that big bulk perfume purchase and this one here sold for $16.82. This item here is Bop It. I want to say I picked this up at a church sale but either a church sale or a garage sale I paid 25 cents for this and it sold for $11.72 and the buyer paid for shipping. This listing for Olympia Intense by Paco Rabanne has been getting some traction recently. This was part of a big perfume purchase that I made. I have about $6 invested into each individual bottle and this one here sold for $49.79 free shipping. This next item is actually still in my eBay room but this is a Calvin Klein woman's running jacket. This was my mom's and she asked me to sell it for her and it sold pretty quickly within like a week or two for $24.99 and the buyer paid for shipping. This next item here is a small Digimon Fusion action figure. This was part of one of the hauls I got from my guy locally and this one here, this little action figure sold for $14.99 and the buyer paid for shipping. So I'm actually doing a voiceover for this clip. I didn't realize at the time of recording that this was a viewer sale so I just wanted to say thank you to Lauren. I really do appreciate the business and the support for my eBay store and my YouTube channel. It really does mean a lot. She bought this for $14.39 so thank you again. This sale, a men's casual button down. Nothing too crazy. Crazy. This is a Charles Tyrewit, so a men's button down or a dress shirt. I picked this up at a thrift store 50% off for $3.99 and it's sold for $19.99 free shipping. So nothing too crazy, but I guess we could call it a good bread and butter item. And this last sale here probably isn't worth my time and effort moving forward listing stuff like this. I did get this for free. This was my dad's. This is a pair of pajama pants, super lightweight, so it will go first class. It's sold for $7.98 free shipping, so I'll make a couple of bucks. But I think moving forward, even if I get inventory like this for free, I probably won't spend the time to list items like this individually. So I just finished packing everything up. An extremely long morning of packing and shipping today. Um, this is my little stack of clothing. Days like today, I wish I had more clothing items going out just because the simplicity of packing and shipping items is just throwing a piece of cloth into a poly bag or a padded flat rate envelope. But I'm still extremely satisfied with this weekend of sales. Um, just having everything stacked up on like this is just, it really is rewarding. And I think it's okay to pat yourself on the back, especially if you've been putting in a lot of work into your reselling business and you're watching it grow. Um, let me tell you right now, like reselling is not a get rich quick scheme. It takes a lot of work and it's just kind of like a slow burn, something that you just put in effort into day in and day out. And over time, you'll see it grow. And another thing I'm going to add is reselling has a lot of ups and downs. It's a complete roller coaster when it comes to sales. So when you're up, I feel like personally for me, like this weekend was a good weekend in terms of sales. I feel like I'm closer to an up. I'm gonna enjoy the moment and I think you should too if you have a good weekend of sales because I know for a fact in the future not every weekend is gonna be like this. I'm gonna have weekends where sales are just completely dead like my eBay store is just completely silent. Um, not every weekend is gonna be amazing and I just have to understand that. I have to enjoy the weekends where sales are good. And when sales are down, I just have to understand that's just part of the reselling business. And as a solo operation, I still feel like I have a lot of room to grow. So I'm going to continue to push forward. Um, the support you guys have shown me every step of the way really does mean a lot. It's extremely humbling and I feel extremely blessed to even have an audience. 
Um, honestly, I'm not like the biggest YouTuber out there, but it's seriously crazy still that there are people out there showing me so much support. You guys are just like way too kind to me sometimes and it's seriously super humbling. So I really can't thank you guys enough. Um, if you guys want to interact with me, definitely like don't be afraid to send me a message on Instagram or leave a comment below. Honestly, like the whole community aspect and the interaction between the viewer and I, that's like one of my favorite parts about YouTube. So, you know, don't, don't be afraid to reach out and I don't know, I try my best to respond to everyone. So yeah, there's that. Um, but I think that's about everything I have for this video. So I'll catch you guys in the next. Bye.